Hi everyone. So today our goal is to find out the Laplacian of one over r. We want to see what we find we can get after doing the finding the Laplacian of one over r. So first question is what is Laplacian? So by definition, the Laplacian is the dot product of two del operator, and in the Cartesian coordinate, this is del x square, del square, del y square, del square, del z square. Uh, but we can also do it in the spherical coordinate and we probably actually want it in the spherical coordinate because our function here, this is in spherical coordinate, but this is just a function of r. So in the spherical coordinate, this is one over r square del del r of r square del del r and some other terms which contain the derivative with respect to theta and phi but we don't really need them for this problem here because our function is just a function of r so these are going to be zero anyway so we can try to find the laplacian using this equation and this should be quite straightforward so let's see what we get so we should get one over r square del del r uh, and then r square del del r of one over r so this one the de 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 derivative of one over r is minus one over r square so the, after multiplying this minus one over r square we will be able to get one over r square del del r of minus one which is zero so we can see that we should we, we can think that okay we should probably get zero for the laplacian of one over r but the question is is it consistent with every other situations that we can imagine for example let's try to find out the integration of this del square of one over r for a volume like if this is a volume we have like this r theta and phi and everything and this is the volume v we want to find what is the total laplacian integration of total laplacian inside that volume so this should be quite easy because we already know this is zero so we can expect that this should be zero times dv and integrating that we should get zero but is it true because if you think about this integration a, a, a little bit differently what this integration is basically finding the del square of one over r at each point inside the volume at each point inside the volume and summing all of them up that should that should also give us the zero but the problem is one of the point inside the volume is center and at center one over r uh, is undefined so we should not be able to find any defined value for this integration because one of the values that we are trying to sum is actually undefined so there is some issue going on here and that is actually the most interesting part here so let's see what is going on let's try to uh, find out this integration in a different way so when we did that integration this del square of one over r dv inside the volume the main problem was we cannot sum all the uh, like sum this value at all points inside that volume because of this undefined problem like undefinedness problem so we need to find a different way and the different way is actually given by something called divergence theorem so the divergence theorem is if there is a dot product like this and we want to integrate over a volume this is the same as n hat times delta f ds over the surface like this is a volume and n hat would be like outward direction outward direction so if that so if we want to try the find out the like this integration inside this volume this is the same as doing this integration 
uh, doing here, like on the surface that is su surrounding that volume. So this is very interesting because using this idea, this divergence theorem, we can get all the information which are inside the volume, but by not by not even looking inside the volume, we can just look at the information on the surface and that will give us the information inside the volume. So that's why, that's why we are going to use this because we know that when we try to do some calculation inside the volume, that we blow everything up at the center. So we don't want to go there. We want to extract all the information inside the volume just by, by just looking at the surface of that volume. So we write this equation like this as a dot product, as a dot product, and then we use the divergence theorem. By using the divergence theorem, we get uh, uh, n hat and del of one over r. This is actually a vector, del, uh, del hat one over r. And this is now the integration over the surface. So now the uh, what is n hat? So since in our case, the volume is a spherical volume. So the n hat is actually exactly as r hat. So n hat is just r hat. And what is this? So to find the del of one over r, we at first need to know what is del. Del is again just by definition r hat and some other things of del theta and del phi but we don't need them because that will be zero so in our case this is del r of one over r r hat so which is minus one over r square r hat so n hat dot del of one over r is uh, r hat dot minus one over r square r hat just minus one over r square. So we can say that like from here, we can say that del square of one over r dv is now the area integration of minus one over r square ds. So we can do it in a lot of different ways because we can say that the total, so this, remember this surface is the surface area that is surrounding the volume, that spherical volume. So this, uh, so what we can do, we can say that um, this ds over r square is d omega, the solid angle. Why? Okay, so let's say this is the volume, this is the center, and this is a surface ds. This is a surface ds, and this is the radius r. So by definition, a solid angle is the like the, this angle subtended by a surface area at a distance of r, and that solid angle is defined as ds over r square. That's why this is the d omega, the solid angle. And so if this is the so, and if if this is the solid angle here, what would be the total solid angle when we cover all the surface of the whole volume? That would definitely be minus four pi because that is the solid angle subtended by a by the whole surface of a spherical volume uh, of a sphere. So that is the minus four pi. But so now we can see that this integration is minus four pi, not zero. But still we have some work left because we need this, not the integration. So we want to write this minus four pi in terms of some integration. To do that, we need to remind, remind us of something called delta function. For one dimension, we know that delta x, delta function of x and dx is one. That is how the delta, delta function is defined. And for 3D, it is delta r over the whole volume. That is one, that is the v. Okay, nice. So we can use this idea because since there is a one multiplied here, we can say that the uh, four pi delta r cube dv over the whole volume. Now we can compare this and compare this, compare these two to say that del square of 
one r that is laplacian of one r is actually minus four pi and the delta function of r this is the correct result that is consistent with everything so this is actually not equals to zero this is, is equal to something like this okay so that was it thank you